Hey Humies, I'm Ivy and this is another studio vlog. At the beginning of November, we saw Lloyd Kaufman. He's so cool. If you don't know Lloyd Kaufman, um, Google him. <laughs> Toxic Avenger. Toxic Avenger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, Lloyd Kaufman's super cool. He literally has an undying imagination, which I think is extremely admirable. Cause you know, like adult responsibilities and stress and stuff happening really can get in the way of your imagination and he just excels at imagination. It's, yeah, it's just really cool. He is a really cool guy. He's very funny and he's very nice to meet in person. Anyways, here's a really cringy clip of me fangirling. <laughs> Greetings not from Tromerville, but from beautiful Salem, Oregon, where we're at the amazing Salem Theater. And I'm here with Illy, a very talented artist. When did you know that you wanted to uh, paint this beautiful Troma t-shirt by uh, Alex Bardeen? When did you know you wanted to paint in the Bardeen School of Painting? Oh, well, I saw all the movies. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> oh, uh, if you hadn't seen, I did do Folktale Week and it was fun and I liked it. And yeah, I the, the seventh last video of Folktale Week, I talk about my experience doing that. So I'm not going to repeat myself here, but. It was good. <laughs> I don't know why I promised this video would be better than the last month's vlog, because it won't be. Good job. Also this month I attended the Nucleus Portland Coaster Show. It was really cool and I've attended gallery showings before, but nothing like that. I've never attended one where it was like they had little tabs and you like rip the tags and like try to buy the, the pieces quickly. Um, I've also never been to a show where they like let people in, in like groups. I was in the second group, um, so they let in like a handful of people in the first group, and then the second group I think it was like 20 people, and I was in that group. And then after the second group, they let in the rest of the people. And oh my gosh, it was like shoulder to shoulder packed. I, I have videos, I will show you. So here's some clips and pictures and stuff of the Nucleus Portland Coaster Show. to film everybody I'm sorry if I missed yours um, uh, it's just it was there was a lot of people in there and it just there's more and more people the longer I started filming so I didn't want to like get in anybody's space or anything you know <laughs> Um, so I tried. I tried to film as much as I could. Um, it was really fun. I wish I could have bought some of the coasters, but it was just like in a time period where it, our budget wasn't flexible enough for that. But it was really fun, and I'm like really glad I got to see all you guys' art that had art in that show. Um, I definitely want to do it again. I want to attend again and maybe try it myself someday. <laughs> I'll include some review stuff in this vlog. Failing. Failing so hard to film right now. I'm so tired. 
I did some review clips for um, these Flexi Sketch sketchbooks, um, and I'll include those. Oops. I couldn't find any information on what sketchbook this is, other than I know I bought it from Hobby Lobby. Um, and if you go on Hobby Lobby's website, it has like no information. So what I did was I recently went to Hobby Lobby again, because I bought this a long time ago and I just hadn't used it yet. I decided randomly to use it the other day and it is my new favorite. I love this sketchbook. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby again recently to see if they're still there. And they were, and they have a bunch more. And I got a little one, let me show you. I got this um, little one for my purse because I don't really draw when I leave the house anymore like I used to, and I really should. And it seems to have like the same paper and everything, just a different cover. It is also really pretty too. Show you the side of this one. I love the spine on this one. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like this, just blank. And then they both have two ribbons too. And they're stitched. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a uh, fake leather like kind of cover. The paper's like textured and I when I went to Hobby Lobby to get them, I took a clip of the different ones they had. another flexi sketch I got the first one was like landscape and this one's like across so it just looks like this they both look like this this one's landscape I got this one because it's bigger I got them at the same time too <laughs> so here's like landscape it opens like this um, I have a clip on it, so. Um, it's just spelled like this, Flexi Sketch. Let me just hold up this. It has 240 pages, acid free. It's 60 pound or 90 GSM. The landscape one is eight by 12. Do I have the? My foot, I dropped it on my foot. I don't know where the one went for the other one, but I think the other one is like nine by something. No, the, the landscape one I think is nine by 12 and this one's like eight by 12 or, or something like that. Yeah. So this is the guy I'm working on right now. In case you're wondering, this is the one that I'm about to finish. That you'll probably see me working on in this vlog. <laughs> I had told myself that I was going to work on like holiday wintery-ish themed things, but apparently it's really hard for me to stick to that. <laughs> mm. Way to stick to your goals like organization and planning your videos better, Illy. So my printer is still not working for prints and stuff which makes me sad because I really like the paper I got for prints, but I might have to 
just have prints made for me. Sad. Um, because I can't really buy a, a new printer right now. Our printer just isn't working and it won't do that paper. Like it'll print my prints on like copy regular printer paper. But if I put anything else in there and then it like prints it like unaligned, it's like, I, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the, the image itself like is slightly skewed, like slightly crooked. So like the margins aren't even, it's like not aligned at all, like not centered. And we can't figure out why and we keep trying to use like we tried using different printer programs to run the printer like the actual hp program and then we tried just printing it off of like the computer's regular standard printing options nothing works we tried different computers doesn't work <sighs> so the printer is just garbage the scanner works so unless it's like bright neon colors or just bright colors in general then i guess it doesn't work <laughs> I was also thinking about doing like a story time type of speed paint type thing. I know there's other artists that do that. Um, there's also people who just tell story times on YouTube and... But I personally like listening to other people's stories while I'm doing things. I have some really weird stories from my past that's like... They're kind of like WTF stories, so yeah, I could tell you some really weird stories um, or cringy stories or just really strange things that happened that I was present for. If that would be interesting to you guys. So, you know, let me know if that's a garbage idea or if you would listen to that because I feel like my speed paints are really boring by themselves. <laughs> Um, I also broke my glasses. <laughs> I just realized you can see that in the kind of start over. <laughs> Here's a bunch of frames I found. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good day.